As you guys can already tell, we're not at Island Gym, the gym that we've been going to for the past two to three years, I'd say. We're in a new gym, so let me give you guys a tour. So, as you guys can see right here, we got all the cardio machines. That's what Dill's gonna be using soon, not me. As you guys see over there, those are all the dumbbells, pretty much all the way up to like maybe 150 pounds. We have two flat bench presses over here followed by a seated overhead press, which Dylan's gonna be doing, inclined bench over here. So we have a Smith machine right here that we're not really gonna be using because of reasons like that. This machine right here, I'll probably never use again ever in my life, and it's the leg press. All right, so if you wanna get a big gorilla chest like my friend Dylan McKenna, you gotta do these pec flies. Lab pull down, attach this whole big cobra machine. So I believe it's called the cobra machine. It has all your lab pull downs, Machines. So this is my favorite part of the gym, the deadlift platform. There's one right here, and there's one over there, and if you tell those red plates, those are my bumper plates. I'm going to be getting a Texas deadlift bar super soon, so big heavy weight's going to be hit right there. Finally! And here, one of the most crucial machines in the gym is the big power rack. We have one over here, and we have one over there. So very safe, secure place to hit your squats. And here we just have basic pec machines, more pec machines. I don't know what that is off the top of my head. And for the rest of the gym, you just have your typical machines. One of my favorite things about this gym is that there's so much space in between each machine, so it's not gonna be really crammed. So as you can see, there's like four miles between that incline bench and like this lap pull down, so that's just amazing. So like I said, all the machines are over here. And you got this huge chunk of land right here to pretty much do whatever you want. So if you want to deadlift in front of a mirror, you got the mirror right there. Literally can do anything you want there. Drone practice, you name it. And you got your big little uh, Tarzan set here over here for your muscle ups. That's clean. Now, off to my favorite part about this whole entire gym. So as soon as you walk in the locker room, the first thing that you see, all these super premium wooden lockers. You have two toilets over here with some large stalls, a gorgeous granite counter with a nice mirror. Moving on, you have another beautiful granite counter, more half natty lighting, and two huge showers. Like this is massive. And here's another one. This is honestly like a hotel. And for some of the best half natty lighting in South Jersey, we have this room over here. A large XL mirror. You guys can't tell right now, maybe I'll show you later today, but this mirror, this lighting, premium. And of course you have more luxurious lockers. You have another granite counter, another mirror. You have a steam room, you have all this stuff. Like, I don't even know what this is. It's just so luxurious. More showers. You could weigh yourself right there. You have two urinals over here, and then two more stalls. I'm honestly getting lost. Now guys, this is the best part of the gym. You have four flat screen TVs on the wall over there. You have a nice massive sofa right here. You have two mini sofas over there. Boom, boom, you have a little coffee table here. You have two more little couches there, little seats, whatever. Another table. You have a little, look, look, look at this. You can come here with your friends, chillax, get some work done. You can bring a meal pre-workout, eat the meal here, bring your laptop work on your laptop, get some editing done, do whatever you want, chill out in a nice calm room, put all your stuff away in the locker, go train, like, it's honestly ridiculous. All right, so the gym closes in about an hour, so I'm gonna do my best and get a quick back workout in.
big question. Why are we actually in a new gym? Why are we training somewhere else? Like me and Dill, we've been training at Allen for like two, three years, like including Quinn, he's been there for four years. So we're gonna give you a very brief description on what happened, why we switched gyms. So it was roughly a week ago, me and Quinn were training at Allen Gym, and a guy named Jeff, he came all the way down from Philadelphia, like a two, three hour drive just to train with us. So he was training, he was doing deadlifts, he went up to one rep max, he got it halfway up. Me and Quinn were like, come on, let's get it. We were like screaming at him, supporting him. He managed to lock it out, he got it, he set the weight down, and like us screaming and stuff kind of upset like the trainers there. So one of the trainers came up to us, he was like, yo, listen, like, it's not cool, like, why are you screaming like this? Isn't like, you shouldn't be doing this. I'm like, yeah, okay, fine. So, and then he brought up the fact that, oh, all the island trainers and all the owners are like talking about the fact how you guys were talking negatively on, about Island Gym on social media. And what they're referring to was a video that I made a year ago. It was me and Quinn driving in our car, in my car. And we were talking about how the Island Gym owner came up to us one time screaming at her face, like threatening to tackle us. Which was we don't months stop. ago, right, the video? It was a year ago. Yeah, a year ago. Yeah, so he was threatening us. Like literally, physically threatening us. Yeah, physically threatening the us. Owner, the owner of Island Gym actually physically threatened yeah. Dave, which that did happen. Yeah. yeah, and pretty much. And then he kicked us out for the day. So all me and Quinn did, we just depicted what happened. We just told what happened. And they were very, very upset about that for some reason. And it happened like Tempers a year ago. got lost. People started crying. It was yeah, yeah, so all that happened a year ago. I don't understand why they think it's still relevant up to this day because it really doesn't matter anymore. So that was pretty much one of the main reasons. And they just kicked us out. So your memberships are gone. They're banned. So we're like, all right, fine. That's cool. So me and Quinn left the gym. We're like, you know, this is ridiculous. Like... I can't believe we got kicked out. So we called Dylan. Dill canceled his membership yeah. literally. Well, like what happened was, okay, so like they called me. They told me what happened. I was like, I mean, we've been fed up with the whole situation over there being always yelled at for little things like not having our shoes on, literally having chalk and not even making a mess with it. Just all these different things like deadlifting. I mean, really everything. Like they give us a problem for it. So, I mean, as soon as they told me they got kicked down, I was glad to go in and cancel my membership so I went in and when I went to cancel it I told them oh I'm coming to cancel my membership they, they kind of like tried to get me to tell Dave and Quinn to go like talk to the owner and basically beg the owner to let them stay at Island for some reason like they thought that like we literally needed to stay at that gym or something like I don't know I was like I basically just told the guy look like we could care less about training here we're just gonna I'm gonna cancel membership yeah. and they wouldn't even refund me my money I basically, they charged my account that day. I didn't swipe my card one time, and I asked for a refund, and they they felt comfortable charging me the $35 yeah. for the month but no, no, without yeah. having me train there once. Yeah, so pretty much, yeah, we that, that's why as soon as we as soon as that happened, we left, we found a new gym right away. Now we train in Great Bay, it's roughly, it's in Summer's Point if you guys want to look it up. Yeah. Phenomenal gym. So if you guys want to know all the nitty gritty details and exactly how it all happened, why we got banned, like what's been going on in Ireland throughout the years, like what we think about the gym, like our opinion on it, like whether we recommend it, things like that, there's going to be a video right there where Dill's pointing to right here. That's going to be a video on Quinn's channel, so you guys can check that out. And yeah, that's pretty much that.